what you gotta do but on monday get back on track right get back on track don't let that derail the progress you've made thus far all right so ensure that you are getting back on track get back to counting your macros to prepping your meals hydrate um just uh, going back to the last tip on the next day hydration is going to be your best friend so make sure that you're hydrating properly so what is up youtube welcome to another video so today we are going to be talking about an interesting topic specifically alcohol but before we get started please be sure to like this video subscribe to the channel for plenty more hit that bell icon to get notified whenever i upload and once again let's hop right into the video let's do it all right so in this video we're going to break it down into two parts we're going to break down um alcohol and training into two parts part number one is the what so what does alcohol actually do to your body during training and then part number two is application so tools that you can use in social situations to be able to help you navigate drinking and your training as well all right so let's hop right into the video let's do it basically alcohol has five main functions in the body function number one this is going to ultimately pertain to testosterone so alcohol is going to lower your testosterone level and this basically means anabolics so things like your uh decreasing muscle mass because that's what testosterone is basically Use for so you're gonna have decreases in muscle mass, lower sex drive, um, bone density, hair growth, right? And then, um, which with lower testosterone levels, you're more likely to develop depression, um, decrease in muscle mass, and lower sex drive, like I said. And then, uh, chronic and excessive alcohol consumption is going to lower your testosterone levels immensely. Function number two. Alcohol decreases muscle protein synthesis. What does that mean? Breaking down a dietary protein, taking it to amino acid and using it to build lean muscle tissue. That's what muscle protein synthesis is. Right? When alcohol is consumed, it decreases the effectiveness of muscle protein synthesis. So that's function number two. Function number three. Um, an excessive consumption of alcohol is going to increase the likelihood of fat being stored into your system. Right? When alcohol is consumed, the body prioritizes breaking down the alcohol first right? because it's a lot more dense um, before any other calories, which often leads to adipose tissue. Um, and as the body has to focus on breaking down the alcohol first, that's going to lead to adipose tissue. Alcohol. Contrary to popular opinion, alcohol has calories, but but they were they are just empty calories. So they have no nutritional value to the body, and alcohol actually dehydrates you a lot, right? So before you consume alcohol, you might know that they have calories in them, but they're just empty calories. Then they're, they're not really useful for your body. But the more alcohol you're consuming the more your body has to work to break down that alcohol first. That's why when you're hungover in the morning, you know, it's still kinda, your body's still trying to process all the liquor that you've had overnight. Function number three, alcohol lowers inhibition. And basically that is the ability of the brain to function properly when alcohol is consumed, is blunted and lowers significantly, which leads to poor decision making, meaning, Decisions made after consuming alcohol in terms of nutrition are typically poor decisions like consuming fast food, meals, pizza, like you've probably went out before and you've been drinking all night and all you want to eat is a pizza, a burger, or like you wake up the next day, you're hungover, you want a pizza, you want a burger. <laughs> That's pretty much how it goes. Now, with all this information, what does that mean? So, how do we work alcohol and going out social situations into our lifestyle? If you know that you are going to go out at nighttime to drink or whatever, be sure that you lower your fat and carb macros on that day. So that so then that so then that's gonna allow you to be able to make up for those calories. Right? Because if you're having sugary drinks, 
you know, like vodka soap, vodka pineapple, like things that things of that nature. Your body's gonna have to work a lot harder to break that down. So lower your fats, lower your carbs, up your proteins, and that's gonna help fill in the gaps for um, the day's macros. Even though they're not very nutritional, but still, at least you're doing something about it. So number two, stick to vodka. Anything distilled will literally go through you a lot easier than a mixed drink. So stick to vodka water, um, even lime, like sugar-free Red Bull, anything with zero calories. Um, mixers, mixers are honestly a big, a big reason for extra calories, especially when you're mixing like vodka and Coke, um, vodka pineapple. There's a lot more calories in that, but if you just stick with a, so a vodka soda, it's gonna make your life a lot more easier and it's gonna allow your body to process that a lot easier as well. All right, next tip. If you're, once you're done drinking, if you're still hungry, if you're hungry after drinking and everything, um, don't, it's, I know it sounds hard, but don't succumb to eating fast food. Kind of hold off for a little bit. Go home, you know, try to get foods that are high in fiber. Um, because that's gonna help soak up all that liquor as well and it's also gonna satisfy you a lot more than like eating pizza because if, I'm, I'm not sure about you guys but like I've had situations where I can eat a whole pizza after a night out right so you want to make sure that you have foods that are higher in fiber because then that fiber is gonna help soak up all that liquor and you're gonna feel a lot better the next morning um, next tip try not to work out the next day I know it sounds easy easier said than done but some people feel like if you work out they'll feel better but if you are going to work out ultimately work out later in the day maybe start with some cardio get some sweat get a little bit of a sweat going um, but try to rest up as much as you can try to get as much sleep as you can and then later in the day do some cardio maybe 30 minutes a light workout whatever you gotta do and then last tip quite possibly the most important tip Forget that night, it's gone. Get back on track. So let's say if you go out on a Saturday and Sunday, you're trying to recover, do your cardio, whatever you gotta do. But on Monday, get back on track, right? Get back on track. Don't let that derail the progress you've made thus far, All right? So ensure that you're getting back on track. Get back to counting your macros, to prepping your meals, hydrate. Um, just um, going back to the last tip. On the next day, hydration is going to be your best friend. So make sure that you're hydrating properly. And then ultimately, you gotta remember that um, don't, don't let fitness be the end all be all. Try to fit it into your lifestyle. Don't let it take over your lifestyle. Have fun because you're trying to live a healthier life, but also enjoy yourself. But yeah. I'm gonna say thank you guys for watching. That is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, please be sure to like this video. Follow me on Instagram at jerrytfitness underscore. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care. Peace.